Okay, good evening everyone. Uh, now I make this um, a short movie in order to uh, deliver you the questions or the problem from chapter one. This week, yes, uh, it's the first week. So you can check or uh, you can watch uh, this movie in order to get uh, questions uh, for each group because we uh, yesterday we already made a group but even though some of you not yet uh, have group but most of you ha already have group that's why I can say okay group is already done so you can see this movie and then you can work together as your group member or team member in order to find out in order to produce your answers so I just uh, give you the uh, short questions but you need to read the textbook and uh, you need to find the sources from the other like Google or YouTube in order to supplement uh, the answer from the textbook in order to make your answer become more better okay so this is uh, chapter one chapter one of our course is is introduction and axioms of uh, urban economics Okay, this is title of chapter one, and these are the content, also the questions that all or each group of you need to work in order to produce, in order to answer. So the first one, what is the urban economics? This is a question that each group of you need to work together in order to produce the answer. The other question, what is a city? Why do cities exist? There are five axioms of urban economics. What are they? Could you explain each of them with examples? Last one. What are the roles of cities in the economy or in the country? So for this one you have five questions they are not really a small question it's a large question that you need to answer maybe a little bit longer answer not brief or not summarize and based on this based on the textbook you already have this book so this is title and the first content is same thing as I post in my slide what is urban economics? So you can read some this writing, and then next one. What is a city? Okay. Why do cities exist? So we have some graph, table, and also table show. Yes, this table show the population and percentage change. That means population growth rate. This table also, uh, also show you the population and projected population with the large world cities. Large world city normally we call metropolitan city. And this this is the point that show you explain you are talking about five options of urban economics. So we have first one, second one, third one fourth one and the last one the fifth and then actually in the textbook there's no uh, question the roles the roles of city in economy but you can find from the reading they also summarize the role of cities in economy or in the country but you can find it from the other sources like google or youtube so this is up next just up and next this is up and next uh, census definition based on United States census US census definition urban population metropolitan or micropolitan statistics called areas 
principal city. And we also have, this is outside this book, but I just got it from the Google when I searched it. And these are the common questions that everyone always asks. It doesn't matter you ask students, or researchers, policy makers, they always ask. So three common questions. But uh, this can one and third one tend to be uh, the same in the same question. Why do some cities grow faster than the others? Second one. Why do some generate more health? That mean make grow, maybe make positive growth, more health. The third one. Why do some city decline? Right, I mean, thinking that mean in terms of economic or in terms of health, it tend to be uh, worse than before. Why? Okay, so, but this is a common question that outside this book we can discuss. After maybe we already complete the uh, this course, we can uh, you get, you get some idea and you can answer this question. But for chapter one, the main question these are. These are the main questions for chapter one that each group of you need to work in order to use uh, answer. Okay, so this is end of my short movie presentation, uh, so you can watch and then work together.